Oh, what nerdery can we get into today? <sighs> What's up, social sappy? Savvy Tuesday. It's a new week here at Savvy Sexy Social, which means uh, pretty much the same thing as usual. Three videos and a podcast. What do you know? A lot of people ask me how I stay up to date on all the things that are happening in all the places and all the areas of the industry that I work in because it changes all the time. And you know what? I probably could be smarter. I probably could read more, but the most important thing is that I do make the time to read something, whether it's a blog, whether it's a book, whether it's news, something. I have to take in information every single day so that I can stay up to date on what is happening. So with that being my advice, you're probably wondering, how do you make the time? How do you read things? What do you like to read things on? Because people don't use paper anymore, I guess. Well, I actually have a little bit of a routine I'm going to share with you today. I made a video eons ago about read it later, and this video is gonna be a little bit similar because it's pretty much the same platform I use today. Oh, but big news, it has a new name. It's called Pocket. That's actually really, really old news, but still, pretty big news. It'll give you faith if you're the type of brand that really, 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 really wants to change your name and are wondering if anybody's had success at that. Off topic. So you probably saw my video last week about how I schedule tweets with Buffer app and a lot of them come from Feedly from news updates that I read on a daily basis. That's only the starting point for me in order to keep up with my industry. I can't sit there and read every single thing that's happening on Feedly because I subscribe to so much stuff. So this is really the starting point for a lot of things. It's the starting point for some tweets that we're going to be sending over to Savvy Sexy Social's Twitter account and various other places. And then if there are those select few intriguing items and authors that I definitely want to read a full post from, I send it to Pocket. What Pocket does, it essentially gives it this nice environment. It takes away all the distractions and just has your image that's in there and all the copy in a really nice place to read that's not super, super busy. I like it because you still can share things and all that kind of stuff, but you're essentially giving yourself a checklist of things to read. Once you're done, you archive it or you can do a million other things, but you can just get through your pocket and clean it all out. And it's a sense of accomplishment every day that you got through a bunch of know-how and it's time to move on to the next piece. I've been using this app for a really long time because it's so savvy on every single device that I have. So if I wanna take the time on my computer while I'm waiting for a video to export to read an article, I'll go to pocket. Or if I just wanna read on my device when I am waiting on the bus or in line at the shopping center, then I'm gonna look at it on my phone. Or it's great on the iPad if you're sitting in bed before it's time to go to sleep and you want to read something there too. The key to the whole thing, of course, is the Google Chrome extension. If you want to be able to save an article as soon as you see it, you've got to have that functionality in your browser so you can do it like that and not have to take a whole bunch of extra steps. So keep in mind, if you really want to be a savvy pocket user and have a nice list of things to read every day or once a week, however often you want to catch up, you're going to want that extension so you can very easily add things to it. And that's how I stay up to date on all things social media, business, tech, and all those crazy other things that I care about that are super, super nerdy. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. If you don't want to miss a beat of the things that happen on SavvySexySocial.com, you want to sign up for Amy's Elite. That is in the annotation below. That's my e-newsletter. It'll have everything you need, all the videos, all the podcasts, a little special note from me, how you can get social with me on all the different venues. Make sure you sign up for that, and you'll also get a free Twitter guide. And I also wanted to mention, I know I don't do this very often on the videos, but I do have a sponsor for SavvySexySocial.com, and that is FreshBooks. They do so much to support the show and the podcast and the website to help the community thrive. So if you guys are wondering who my accountant is, that's who it is. FreshBooks. You need to sign up because this software is amazing for solopreneurs, small businesses, people just freelancing. It is seriously the bomb. So sign up and you'll be supporting the show. I will see you tomorrow for Sexy Wednesday.